In this video, we're going to look at factoring out a greatest common factor that's a binomial factor. So in this problem, you can see that x minus 9 is a common factor of both of these terms. They're separated by a minus sign. So in this case, our greatest common factor is a base of x minus 9, and it'll be raised to the smaller of the two powers. So the power that we have is or that we have are 3 and 2, so the smaller of those two is a 2. So we're going to take out an x minus 9 squared from each of these. So just to help with alignment and process, we're going to write that x minus 9 under each of these terms, and then in the result, it's going to come out front, x minus 9, quantity squared. And what we're going to have to do is figure out what's left inside when we do that. So for the first term, we're taking x minus 9 to the third and dividing it by x minus 9 to the second. So that will leave the base, x minus 9, to the 3 minus 2, or first power. Minus, then we go to the second pair of terms, x minus 9 to the second, divided by x minus 9 to the second. Now you could take the base, x minus 9, to the 2 minus 2, 0 power, which is just 1. Or you could realize these are the same factor, and anything divided by itself except 0 would leave a 1. So in the next step, we'll, we'll pull that together. So we have the x minus 9, quantity squared, in front. And inside, I'm going to lose the uh, bracket now because we're going to take away the parentheses. So x minus 9 to the first is just x minus 9 minus x minus 9 to the 0 power, we said before, is 1. So now just combining some like terms inside that parenthesis, the first one gets copied, x minus 9 squared, but in here we have a minus 9 and a minus 1, so they'll combine for a minus 10. So the final result, factored form, is x minus 9 squared times x minus 10. And if we needed, if this was within an equation and we needed to solve this, we could set each factor equal to 0 and solve. But our job here is just to factor. So we're done.